barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I just want to uh, send my condolences to John Singleton's family. I heard that they're going to take him off life support today. And I'll just say this. I'm just going to talk about Boys in the Hood. He's done many of things, you know. But uh, Boys in the Hood resonated in me so heavily because I'm a product of my environment. And that was the community in which I grew up in. You know, we all had the super the super football, super athletic star. They either got got caught in a crime, got shot by gang members, you know what I mean, that would have turned pro and saved the community. More importantly, saved his family and created a legacy. You know, we all have that story, and that Boys in the Hood story was so prevalent. You know what I mean? Between the single mother across the street who likes the single father on the other side of the street and the father, you know what I mean? Like, you know... Obviously, me growing up by a single father, and moreover than that, man, I uh, John Singleton lives in my community. Um, for those of you who don't know, I purposely moved to the Eighth District in California uh, for political reasons, obviously, but more importantly, so so my family and I can raise my children in greatness. You know, I uh, John Singleton lives. They call it the Dons, right? They have Windsor Hills, Baldwin Hills, and then they have the Dons. It's just, it's separated by a couple of streets and whatever the case may be. And uh, he lives at the end of a cul-de-sac in a beautiful home. And uh, just the thought that he lives in my community, just the thought that I've seen him work out in the gym a handful of times. I've seen him at Simply Wholesome. I've never had a conversation with him, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but uh, just the thought, I've sat next to him in traffic. I've seen him. I actually have done some work on a house on his street. Um, you know, just that thought, that the fact that my children has the opportunity to bump shoulders with him just because they shop at the same shopping store, just because they work out the same gym, is why I move here. So we can experience black excellence, you know. And uh, uh, I just wanted to obviously send my condolences, but more above that, say thank you. You know, John Singleton um, has done some great work for our culture. Some great, I mean, Boys in the Hood for me is just like, man, it, it hits home on so many different levels, man. There's, I mean, I'm not going to go through his discography, but um, I'll just stay on Boys in the Hood because I'm a, I'm a, I was born in the 70s. So that makes me an 80s baby in terms of living. And, uh, uh, but just thank you, John Singleton. I appreciate you the handful of times that I've literally worked out next to you and been in the gym with you and seeing you driving down the street. It's, it's, it's just the fact that my children had the opportunity to live in your community and potentially see you and see people like you who are as successful, if not greater, is, um, is the reason why you're the reason why and other successful black people is the reason why I decided to raise my children in the 8th District. You know, I purposely didn't go to the valley and get that big home on a big lot and live happily ever after. I didn't do that. I chose to live in the 8th District. And it's because of people like John Singleton, you know, who became filthy, filthy, filthy rich and still lived amongst us. You know, that that's inspiring just on its own, you know. So uh, John Singleton, rest in peace. Um Maybe you can direct Nipsey Hussle's video in, in, in heaven, you know what I mean? And uh, uh, you, you can rehash your relationship with Tupac and, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, man. So uh, the real Migos is in heaven now, directed by uh, uh, John Singleton, Nipsey Hussle, Tupac, and Biggie Small. So thank you, John Singleton, um, you know, just great work, honestly, great work. And uh, he had a mission, and his mission was to tell our stories. And um, he and Spike Lee were neck and neck when I was a child, you know. And uh, I didn't understand it as a child, but now that I'm adult, I understand why and where and how and the meaning behind uh, them doing it. So. Thank you, John Singleton. No relationship to him. Just seen him a couple of times in the community. Nothing big, nothing more. Uh, but thank you, man. You're, um, you're an inspiration. And uh, thank you for your work. Thank you for staying consistent. And uh, I, don't know if they, I don't know if I'm saying this prematurely by saying rest in peace, but I'm not sure if they pulled the plug yet. But um, I don't want to be disrespectful. But uh, I, they're 
response from the family said that it's coming soon. So rest in peace. Thank you. And uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Barbershop Conversations, Boys in the Hood, Instant Classic. When your, when your child gets of age, Do the Right Thing, Boys in the Hood, Malcolm X, Coming to America, Higher Learning, um, or movies off the top of my head that I think uh, you need to sit down with your children and enjoy them. Um, barbershop comments, and if you want to laugh, you can throw some boomerang in there. You know, you want to break the energy up, throw some boomerang in there. You know what I mean? So, uh, and Players Club, you know, if you want to laugh with your son, you know what I mean? And uh, teach him about the birds and the bees, play Players Club, you know? Lisa Ray used to live in the community. Now she lives in the valley. She lives in the, the biggest white house in the community. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.